How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand spanky new video today. I hope you're having an amazing day today. My name's Tom and today you may recognise this vehicle from way way back in my channel. We did a few little, two, uh, I think we did a two part of video on this car just with a bit of music in the background testing it out around the map. But I thought the time's come to do a decent mod showcase and do the vehicle justice itself because we are testing out the 2013 Defender, the Land Rover Defender in all its glory. It's an amazing piece of work and an amazing piece of kit. So let's go ahead and go over to the garage and put all the add-ons that we want. So I think there's a few to be honest. Well, not not an amazing amount, but I don't, I don't really mind. They could have done with more wheels, I guess. Because there's only one set of default wheels, but I don't mind. I'm not complaining. One thing that I would like, though, is a few more Defender mods, because we don't have many at all. I think this is the... <sighs> this, I think there's two. I think there's a 110 and this which is a bit poor. Now, it's not an amazing car, I have to admit. It does climb well though, if you look at that, it, it, it does what the real car should do, which is climb at a slow speed and gain traction, rather than all the other cars on this game, that all they do is spin, 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 and then when you get a bit of speed, it flies. But, I really do have a... I, I hold this vehicle close to my heart, I love this car personally on so many different levels I've had several well my, my dad himself he's had several as well and I've always loved and had a, a spot in my heart for a Defender and hopefully one day I'll have my own Defender because they're getting really expensive now I'm not gonna lie because they stopped making them um, in 2015-2014 time so they're getting quite rare and quite pricey so if you've got one then I recommend you keep a hold of it for a long time because it's going to be worth a lot more money in a few years but if I had one personally I wouldn't be getting rid of it and I wouldn't buy it just for the money I'd buy it because I love the car so let's just see if we can even attempt to get up this hill and low I was kind of precarious <laughs> leading up to it thinking yeah maybe not so what I think I'm going to do is stick it in high and do what all the other cars do and fly up it rather than doing it properly because not every car is as realistic as it should be I mean every car has got its defects, even the Defender as, it, as much as it pains me to admit not every car is as realistic as it should be like there's always something that you can do to improve it I mean everything has improvements everything can have improvements, nothing's perfect I suppose you're never going to get that perfect mod because you know there's always something that comes out the next day that's better or the next week or the next year now we are actually struggling here maybe we may have to give this a miss, I'm not even going to attempt going up the hill because if you can't get up this it's not going to go up that. I might give it a go when I'm round there. I don't know. We'll see how. See if it's just me getting the lines wrong. I don't think it is. Whoa! Now you know what? We're going to take a completely different route and go this way. Prior, mainly prior to the fact that I just shit my pants and did a one, 180 degree turn, turn round. <laughs> but. I have to admit, there is a bit of this map that we actually haven't checked out as such, which we could probably do with doing, so that will definitely come along one day with different cars, because there's obviously some different different parts of the map for different vehicles, so if we ever try out some bigger vehicles, I'm sure we can find some different spots to take them on. I mean, even shit like this, we can still get through here with a big lorry that we can try out, so that'd be perfect I suppose. Now I just want to try getting through here, I think we'll be fine, because this is the shallower bit. The, along with the Suzuki Samurai that I actually tested on this map, the came, same sort of deal with them, the quite boxed shape, which isn't always a good thing because 
it it gives them a quite shitty suspension and quite high chance of rolling. I mean, if you watch a video on YouTube or something of a Land Rover Defender off-roading, you know, nine times out of ten, or maybe not nine times out of ten, six times out of ten, a lot of them do roll, I have to admit. And maybe it's just the physics of the car in this game, but you can see that that bike wheels off the floor. There's so much weight on this roof, and because it's so high up, it's almost like a square, like I was saying about the Samurai, so the weight is going down, and you know, gravity happens and shit like that, and it just throws the car. So if you go on something like that, you're more than likely going to roll. I mean, like that, I'm on my side now. So I really need to go and attach to something because if I'm un if I'm if, I <laughs> if I'm fucking unlucky, I'll end up on my roof more than likely. But we're progressing, we're progressing, it's all good. Oh wow, it's not looking too good for the defender today. I mean, I'm sure when I first started playing spin tires and I got the Defender, it was one of my first mods because I just had to have it and it's, I remember it being so much better than it is performing now, I don't know why then again though, when I first started playing spin tires there has been updates since then so maybe it's due to that but I have to admit it's not looking too great, I have to, I have to say so, I haven't been around this side of the map, so it may be good to do so. That that track, I know that's the track that I went up with the Samurai, and uh, then I came down and almost rolled. I think I did roll, actually, but then landed on my roof or something. It landed flat, I'm not entirely sure, but if I remember rightly, I didn't roll, to be fair. I think the Defender's capable of that. I think I know where it leads as well. So this will be perfect to test it out with, I think. Stick the lights on. Just so we can see where we're going, because it's going a bit dark now. It's half past 8pm. 8 8.30pm 8 on the game. So we want to be able to see where we're going, I suppose. Because that would be a big help. <laughs> now... I, just, I don't want it to slide, I want to keep up to my right, my right um, path, rather than going like that. The one thing I don't want to do in this car is roll it, because I'd, I'd hate to roll it, I just want to be able to get it back. This is the one car that I actually care about, <laughs> even though it's not performed as well as I'd, liked it to, uh, I'd have liked it to, you know, it's still the best in my eyes. I mean, you know, if this was in real life, it would perform so much better. I mean, if there's any, like, British people, British off-roaders watching this video, you know that this car is the shit. It would have performed so much better in real life than in the game. So, it's a bit disappointing, actually. But, it's not the end of the world. I mean, this game does provide a lot of cars, but that they all could be better in real life because I mean you can always put a V8 engine in a Defender and make it all uh, weight reduction take all the weight off it and reduce the amount of weight that's in the car and make it much much better and have a have a crew cab uh, truck cab hard top on it rather than a full hard top which would benefit you greatly in my opinion in situations like this because the hard top actually adds a lot of weight on and makes it less unstable if you've got a lift kit. Now I'd have a lift kit but I'd have a truck cab rather than a hard top like this. And I'd also have a full roll cage on the back toe. But that's me I suppose. Going into a lot of detail. That's almost like my dream defender though, like let's see if we can just winch to something because it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting up here on his own. I don't know. that might be why we're not moving too far. Surely that branch should just move in theory. Again. I'm 
kind of gone for a steeper route this time. But hopefully we'll still make it up. Actually, can I fit through them trees? Luckily we got up, and now I don't think we're going to be able to get up here, so <laughs> I, I can't see it happening because this is quite steep. It's just losing a bit of power there. I don't know why it's performing so awfully. I mean, it has actually performed dreadfully com compared to what I've... I might have to watch back the old videos with this Defender car on. It's the exact same mod. I'm sure it performed better when I did those videos that, that time ago. Don't roll on me. No, it's rolled. I think that's going to be it for the Defender because I don't think I'm going to be able to move it and the roof rack's going a bit dodgy. No, I think that's a I think that's going to be it for this this defender today. I don't know what's up with the roof rack. I'm guessing it's some sort of physic. I don't even know. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed this video, you'd be kind enough to go and drop a like down below. That would be amazing. Please go and comment some feedback on what you thought about this video. And if you'd like to go and see more of one thing and less of this in the future, please let me know. And if you'd also like to go and subscribe, I'd hate for you guys to miss out on any of my daily content. That would be great. So anyway, guys, my name's been Tom. I'll catch you guys in the next one.